what has surprised you the most about being an investor uh, versus being an operator? And then the second is just any big lessons learned. And that could be things you might share with someone else who's thinking about starting a fund or you know, things that just strike you as you think back on the last couple of years. I'll start with the second question first. I think in terms of lessons learned, having strategic LPs and people who are interested in the problems that your companies are solving as investors, as advisors, it changes how quickly and easily you can help the portfolio. Um, and I think that it's funny when I started this, you know, one of the founders when I was talking to said to me, all venture funds say they are, and she went in air quotes, value add, that it's just kind of like what everybody says, we're value add. And I think what I've learned is that our greatest value, other than insights, you know, industry insights and things we're gleaning by, you know, consumer insights, all that, is because we are staying very close to the strategic partners, customers, et cetera, that our companies need. And I hadn't experienced it. It makes sense. It's common sense. But if you have the opportunity to take five small checks from people who can be strategic or one large institutional check, take the five small checks. Mm -hmm. You will get much more from it. Um, I think the other, another thing that I've learned along the way is on team, I've got a great team. Um, and that is not just because they're smart and we, we, but we're all very entrepreneurial. And I think that's the piece is finding a team that, you know, we had a lot of choices on who to hire, you know, in terms of a fit. And I think the fit is, is really aligns with our, our vision and our mission, but you know, the bright, shiny object of, you know, pedigree and this and that isn't always the right choice. The right choice is having the right um, cultural fit uh, that that eschews your values, especially because we're a big, our, our whole category is based on the value of aging, you know, older people matter. It's a value-based industry in terms of, of uh, so, you know, I think that was another lesson learned. Um, and then I think the the third piece on lesson learned is, um, that I had to learn the hard way is we have to get better at saying no faster. We were just talking at lunch today, our team, we fall in love with ideas, but at the end of the day, it's the founders that are going to make all the difference. So you can have the best idea. And people all, have always said to me, would you rather have a B idea and an A founder or an A idea and a B founder? And I used to pump the question saying both. <laughs> And I think what I've learned is it's better to have a B idea and an A founder. Um, and I think most people in venture will say that, but because I'm such an ideas person, I didn't want to let, I, it's hard for me to let go of the ideas. And I think I've learned the hard way that we, I, we have to get better and faster at letting go of the ideas we love if it's a B team. Mm 